Hey guys, this is Maximum X Gamer bringing you this special video. I'm proud to present this uh, Iron Man 2 action figure. It's actually called Iron Man 2 Mark 2, the armored unleashed version. This is a hot toy special edition release and as you can see on the back of the box it does actually say it's adult collection and not a toy recommended from 15 plus and there's something to be said about that I mean the, uh, the actual figure itself is very fiddly and the small parts are easy to break so it's word of warning as you can see from the logo in partnership with Marvel Comics these action figures truly are a collector's dream the presentation is top-notch as well as the quality one thing I love about the modern day action figures is the amount of detail they can actually sculpt into the figures this particular figure is a 1.6 version the box inside has a see-through plastic screen which shows the action figure as well as all the attachments you also get to see how well the face model has been sculpted and a quick look at Don Cheeto the actor who plays Tony Stark's uh, best friend more on that later I should get three separate heads and lots of uh, different attachments on the back of that box there's a list of people who collaborated in creating this sculpture mainly it's uh, JC Hong who's the main producer and creator and sculptor inside the box there's like three layers the first layer has the actual uh, figure inside the second layer has a couple of attachments and the base and the bottom layer has the base uh, unit as well as the stand as you can see from the amount of detail in the actual figure, one of the heads come with it has Don Cheeto, who played Tony Stark's best friend, Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodey. I'm actually a fan of Don Cheeto, so I didn't really mind him being introduced into the second part, although I think it was unfair how they replaced his character. Anyway, my first impressions of the actual figure itself, I, I just love it. I love everything about it. The amount of detail that they've put into this action figure, and this is definitely not a toy, is uh, immense. The only thing I will say is very fragile, very fragile, and I can't emphasize that enough. Bits will come apart, so you have to be very careful or have a tube of super glue handy. The closer you look at this figure, the, the better it looks. So for those of you who are not well versed in the Iron Man history, this particular model was first seen in the original Iron Man movie, and it's the one that was the prototype that was tested and the one that failed when it reached high altitude and some of the systems froze this was quickly replaced by Iron Man Mark 3 it wasn't seen again until Iron Man 2 when Tony Stark makes a fool of himself at the birthday bash on purpose or otherwise and Rhodey his best friend ends up stealing the Mark 2 and handing it into the American army which then gets developed into what is known as War Machine okay so now that everyone knows the brief history of the Mark 2 we are now going to cover the articulation of this model now this particular 1.6 version of the mark 2 unleashed version has 36 points articulation and we can start off by having a quick look at the rotation of the head which has a very good left and right rotation and up and down motion one of the most impressive thing about this model is the hand movement and each one of its fingers has three point articulation including the thumb and you can close the fist in a, the most realistic fashion you can detach both wrists and there is another set that comes with this which is closed fist so you can't actually move there's no articulation on those fists the ones which have the three point finger movement articulation they have the light up feature whereas the closed fist obviously won't moving on to the wrist and forearm the, that extends and opens and reveals the missiles it has a similar thing on the other arm to a lesser degree this um, version you can take all the armor plates off to reveal the endoskeleton inside without the chest plate a closer look on his hands and his chest plate you can see the chipset circuitry endoskeleton on the back you can see where you have the air brakes and it has three different layers you have the metal mash and the two main brake discs in the middle you have a light up chest plate you can see the detail in the arc reactor and also you can interchange the heads with Don Gito with the one with the glowing eyes the endoskeleton which is revealed underneath the armor is full of detail it has all the circuitry showing all the pistons and you could just sit there and marvel at uh, how well Hot Toys have uh, actually done although I love the red and gold Iron Man color scheme this particular silver chrome looks cooler and more mean and I think it's one of the better uh, overall look as mentioned earlier this model comes with two types of leg armor one shows the circuitry 
endoskeleton complete and it also has the light up feature at the base whereas the other set of uh, armor plated feet which come up to the knee but those don't have the light features in the feet however it does have the air blades which the uh, Iron Man uses uh, during flight it comes with a stand with a light up feature with a glass tube and that's synonymous with some of uh, Hot Toy releases on the back of the uh, legs you can see the amount of detail that it's on show you can see every single one of its pistons the rocket obviously this is without the uh, armor plate so it shows you all the detail underneath there is articulation in the actual feet there is unfortunately a little bit uh, of a problem when it comes to movement around the base around the middle of the chest area and it's not as flexible as the later models and I've had to rely heavily on the actual stand unfortunately the other stand that comes with this is not as sturdy due to the rigidness of some of the parts it's not as easy to stand up for display so I've relied on this stand more than the other one so as I said at the beginning this comes with lots of different attachments it has a diorama and as you can see from here this is with all the chest plates and armor plates taken off it, overall this is a very impressive uh, uh, figure to have this is Iron Man with uh, all its light up features you see the lights in the eyes its two forehands and its chest plate as well as the feet it's worth quickly pointing out how to turn on the lights the switch for both his hands the palms are on the inside of his bicep the switch for his arc reactor in his chest is on the back the switch for his eyes are directly behind his head and the switch for the feet are exactly where they are right on the sole so that's the most obvious one so yeah once they're all on it gives an excellent illusion and uh, it looks really nice as an ornament at night well guys I hope you liked this video please uh, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe if you haven't already. This was Maximum X Gamer signing out.